Welcome back to our channel where we help you make the most of your Google Analytics data to grow your WordPress site and increase your revenue. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up affiliate link tracking in WordPress using Google Analytics. With affiliate link tracking, you can see how many clicks each link gets, how much revenue it generates, and which pages and products are driving the most traffic. That way you can start focusing on promoting your top performing links. If you'd like more details about setting up affiliate link tracking, be sure to check out this post. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, let's get started. Monster Insights allows you to set up affiliate link tracking in WordPress with just a few clicks without modifying any code. For this tutorial, I'll be using Monster Insights Pro. So to get started, we'll head over to the Monster Insights pricing page and select Monster Insights Pro. All right, once you're all signed up, go to your account area and download the zip file of the plugin to your computer. Next, log into your WordPress site. And then on the admin sidebar, click Plugins. And then select Add New. Then click the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page. All right, now you can either click Choose File or you can just drag and drop the zip file here and then click Install Now. Once that's done, activate the Monster Insights plugin. Okay, now you'll need to connect Google Analytics to your site. Now don't worry, just follow the steps in the Setup Wizard and the plugin will automatically add Google Analytics to your site without editing any code. If you'd like more details, be sure to check out this post to our guide on adding Google Analytics to WordPress. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, in order to track your affiliate link clicks with Monster Insights, you'll need to cloak your affiliate URLs using a plugin like Purdy Links. Now, if you're an Amazon affiliate, don't cloak your links. Just follow this tutorial on how to track Amazon affiliate links in WordPress the easy way. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, here's three things you'll want to keep in mind. First, you'll want to make sure that all your affiliate links have the same base slug. Now, this is going to help Monster Insights track clicks more accurately. Second, you'll want to use a descriptive short URL for your affiliate links too. Now, this is going to make it easier for users to remember the links and click on them again later on. And third, be sure to test your affiliate links to make sure that they're all working properly. Now, you can do that by clicking on the links yourself, or you can ask a friend or a family member to click on them for you. Okay, now first, you'll need to install and activate the Pretty Links plugin on your WordPress website. Now, to do that, just go to your admin sidebar and then click on Plugins. And then Add New. Then search for Pretty Links. and click Install Now. Now just go over to your admin sidebar and under Pretty Links, click Add New. Then enter the long URL for your affiliate link in the target field. This is the ugly affiliate link that you want to redirect. Next, enter the short URL for your affiliate link in the Pretty Link field. Now you could use Affiliate, Refer, or Go, and then your product name. This is a new URL that you want users to see when they click on the link. And you can add a note here if you want to. Then click Update. Now, all of your affiliate links will be redirected to URLs that include the same path. This will allow Monster Insights to track your affiliate link clicks. Now that your affiliate links are redirected to pretty URLs, you can set up tracking in Monster Insights. So first head to Insights and then Settings. And then click on the Publishers tab. Next, click on the Affiliate Link section. Now, in the Path field, enter the path of your affiliate links. Now, since we used Affiliate in Pretty Links, we're going to use that here as well. But you can use whatever URL path that you chose previously in the Path box. Keep in mind, you'll want to use something that you can remember in the Label field, since this is going to be the name that will appear in your Google Analytics report. So, I'll just leave it Affiliate Links here. Then, just click Save Changes. Now, once you've done that, Monster Insights will start tracking your affiliate link clicks. Now, here's two things you want to keep in mind. First, you can track a variety of paths and organize your links however you want by clicking the Add Another Link Path button and repeating that process. Second, be sure that the path that you enter is the same path that you used when you redirected your affiliate links using Pretty Links. And remember that the label you enter is important because it will be the name that appears in your Google Analytics reports. Now, to see the reports inside your WordPress dashboard using Monster Insights, just go to Insights, and then to Reports, and then to Publishers. Now, just scroll down to Top Affiliate Links to see the report. 
Now, to see which of your site's pages a user was on when they clicked on your affiliate link, you'll need to build a custom expiration report in Google Analytics. If you've never built a custom report before, you can check out this tutorial on how to create a custom GA4 expiration report. Now, to create your report, just log into your Google Analytics account and go to the Explorations tab. Then click on a blank report. And then click the plus sign in the Dimensions box. Then search for and import these dimensions. Is affiliate link, link text, page title, event name, and affiliate label. Next, click the plus sign in the metrics box and add and import event count. All right, now click and drag link text, affiliate label, and page title from the dimensions box over into the rows box. Then drag event count from the metrics to values. Next, click and drag is affiliate link from the dimensions box to filters. Choose exactly matches and true and click apply. Now click and drag event name from dimensions to filters and choose exactly matches and click apply. Now you built your custom affiliate link report and you can see which links got clicked on which pages on your site. Now keep in mind, event count is equal to clicks. Monster Insights will automatically track WooCommerce affiliate links as well. To start, enter the URL of your affiliate link in WooCommerce by going to Products, then Add New. Next, scroll down to the Product Data Meta box. Now select External Affiliate Product from the drop-down menu. Then enter the URL of your affiliate link in the Product URL field. Next, enter the button text that you want to use for your affiliate link in the Button Text field. Now enter the regular price of the product in the Regular Price field, and then click Publish. Monster Insights will now automatically track WooCommerce affiliate link clicks. You can view the report in your WordPress dashboard by going to Insights, and then to Reports, and then to Publishers, and then to Top Affiliate Links. There you have it. That's how you can set up affiliate link tracking in WordPress. We hope you found our video helpful for growing your business and boosting your revenue. Now, don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.